mic, please. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, before I uh, address uh, the efforts that we've been engaged in to push back against the Chinese virus, I want to assure the American people that, as President Trump just said, your State Department, your entire national security team is uh, staying focused on the other diplomatic challenges around the world. Those include uh, reducing risk to America from Afghanistan, holding the Iranian regime accountable for its malign activity, and our counterterrorism efforts against ISIS remain a priority for our team. Uh, our number one uh, priority across those mission sets remains the protection of the American people. The President and our team are very focused on it. I'll take this moment, too, to thank uh, my team, State Department team, who is working long hours all around the world to take care of Americans. Uh, who are stuck at places around the world. I'll talk about that more in just a, a minute. You've all seen Dr. Burks with me, a State Department official who's doing great work, but I want to I give a shout out to all of the State Department team here in Washington and around the world that are working overtime uh, to help us push back against this uh, pandemic. Uh, under the President's leadership this week, we've taken two important steps. First, as President Trump announced on Wednesday, the United States and Canada jointly agreed to restrict all non-essential traffic across our border. This decision goes into effect tonight at midnight. The restrictions will be reviewed after 30 days, uh, and they exclude traffic and movement across the border for work or other essential reasons. We're grateful to have such an outstanding friend to the North who is committed, as we are, to defeating this virus. Uh, I also want to announce today uh, that the United States and Mexico have agreed to restrict non-essential travel across our shared border. Both our countries know the importance uh, of working together to limit the spread of the virus and ensure that uh, commerce that supports our economy continues to keep flowing. Uh, here, too, the United States is uh, glad to have a friend who's working si side by side us in the fight. Uh, Secretary uh, Wolf will talk a little bit more about the details of how we're working alongside our partner in Mexico to keep our southern border safe and secure as well. Uh, on another note, yesterday the State Department issued a Level 4 Global Travel Advisory. This means that all international travel from U.S. citizens should be avoided. In countries where commercial departure options remain available, U.S. citizens who reside in the United States should arrange for immediate return to the United States unless they're prepared to remain abroad for an extended time. If you choose to travel internationally, your travel plans may well be severely disrupted. Uh, and finally, I want to talk about the disinformation that people are seeing both on Twitter and around the world, some of it coming from government, some of it coming from other individuals. Just urge everyone, as they're seeing information, uh, information that at one time suggested somehow this virus emanated from the United States Army, this informa uh, information about lockdowns that are taking place, uh, every American, indeed, people all around the world should ensure that where they turn to for information uh, is a reliable source and not uh, a bad actor trying to uh, create and flow uh, information that they know is wrong. Uh, this is a tough fight. The American people are tougher. Our diplomatic teams are working around the clock to help them keep safe both home and abroad. And we're showing once again uh, the global leadership that America has always delivered. And it's been great to see countries around the world rally behind what President Trump and our team are doing. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Thank you very much.